Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Reactor Essentials. In this video, we are going to talk about two operators switch if empty and defer. Let's start with switch if empty, and for that, let's just create a private method here. Let's imagine that we have we are subscribing to a flux, but this one we are going to force returning empty. So it's pretty simple, just return flux dot empty okay so now that we have this flux empty let's create another method here with test and let's call public uh, void switch if empty operator okay so what is this operator about Every once in a while, there is a chance that if you are subscribing to a publisher, that publisher may return an empty result. It means that there is nothing to do. And in that case, you can switch and do something else with that result. It's kind of uh, an if else. So for example, imagine here we have this empty flux. And uh, if it's empty, and we know that it's empty, we would like to switch. And uh, we would like to just print something, for example, flux dot just and we can tell not empty anymore and if you want you can log everything so now we can create a small test for that and verify that we have this not empty anymore so step verifier dot create then expect subscription then expect next this value and then expect complete and then verify execute and you can see that instead of getting the empty and if we remove this one we got the not empty anymore so by removing this and executing this test again now we can see that we have the request unbounded and then uh, on complete. So this is useful. Sometimes you have a business logic that you would like to, you are executing something to uh, save in the database and you do a search. So if the, the search returns like an empty flex, you switch if empty and you'll save that object. So this is just one of the main use cases that we can uh, have. And the second one is the defer. So for this one, let's create a new test here public void defer operator and we can add here froze froze exception okay so the defer operator it will delay the execution of what we have inside that operator basically the it's easier to understand if we we do like this. Let's start with just mono. And this mono is going to return system current time uh, minutes. So this mono, we are going to subscribe, just dot subscribe. And I'm going to print the log. For it. Okay. So I will print several times and now I will execute this method. And you can see that we have exactly the same time. If you want, you can add here thread.sleep and add 100 milliseconds. And you can do here and also you can do it here. And even waiting for 100 milliseconds, you can see that the result is the same. Why? Because if you go into the documentation of this just method, it's going to create a mono that will emit that specified item, which is captured at the instantiation time. So this is really important because at the moment that we are instantiating, at the moment that we create this guy, this is being executed and it's saving. So how can we 
differ how can we tell hey i would like you to uh, execute this system current time it is every time a new subscriber um, subscribes to us for that you can just change here so you still have the this mono but now instead of this just we are going to add the defer and then i will tell that i would like to execute this mono dot just every time a subscriber subscribes to us instead of doing at the moment we are instantiating this object and you can see here that we'll uh, apply the supplier for when the subscribe for each downstream now let's uh, change here we can change defer let's execute and now we can see different results because this uh, lambda will be executed each time a subscribe uh, subscriber subscribes to this defer and how can we test that? Well, we can do something pretty simple. We can use atomic long for that. And we just type here defer dot subscribe. And we can set the value of this long. And down here, we can just use assertions from JUnit to assert that this value is not uh, zero. We can execute and we have our test passing. So just keep in mind when you are using just, if you would like to execute the, the value inside that just, make sure that you are using the defer before. Okay, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.